G'day everyone, uh, back today with a, a demo for the newly released map from uh, A1s, aka David, um, Legion of the Balls of Steel. Uh, this is a kind of a spiritual successor to Dimensions Map 1, um, with, with some really good atmosphere. Uh, unfortunately you won't really catch a lot of the, the cool atmosphere and stuff on, on this demo since I'm running through it as quick as I can. Um, I'll include a link, I'm sure most of you guys have already seen it, but just on the off chance you haven't, I'll include a link to, to David's playthrough in my description. It's well worth watching, um, just to kind of get a better, bit of a better sense of what the map looks like. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's crack into it. Alright, so run forward and back. We get the BFG and we the main fight. Um, we kind of stutter step around here a little bit. We need to um, bait some revenants away from this far wall that we need to pass. So if we try and run out too quickly, they'll usually block us in. Uh, now we need to somehow thread our way through these cybers and get to the switch. Uh, don't need to worry too much about killing them. They'll get res by our vials and when we open up the next phase. Ignore the vials here because we're not going to be able to clear them until right towards the end of the fight. So there's no point in, uh, in killing off any of them early. Try and kill these guys on the first pass. And we just run out here a little bit just to make sure we don't have any cyber rockets waiting for us. And then kill the, the new vial that's back just to res. And now we kind of settle into it bit of a standard U strafe. Um, obviously you've got infighting rockets that you need to be constantly aware of, um, particularly from the, the line of side bruises down towards the end. Um, there's a bit too much going on in the rest of the fight to try and go in on them and concentrate on them now. Um, to, the, the presence of the arch files there means you really can't do it quickly. The side bruises have got a lot of health so you need to spend a fair amount of time trying to clear them out. Um, so I just ignore them. Usually the vials there will be too busy in fighting um, with other stuff to, to really present you too much da uh, danger at crossing. Um, but the side bruises and also any cybers in the main kind of clump that are in fighting with them are very dangerous. You quite often will take an in fighting rocket. There's, you just can't look in both directions at the same time. Um, but we get mostly lucky this attempt. Um, I try and focus on clearing out these PEs where I can. Um, you want to try and make sure that, um, that the spawn, uh, like the teleporter destination for the PEs isn't blocked. Um, the PEs can take a little bit to, um, to filter out, so if you kill them while they're on top of the teleport destination you can let the rest of them start teleporting in quicker. Um, the main reason you want to do that is just so that you don't end up uh, doing clean up and still having, say, you know, 10 or 15 pain elementals in the closet and you have to wait for them to slowly teleport out. Um, that and <laughs> the, the middle clump tends to take care of itself for the most part, um, so yeah. Uh, now I got pretty lucky here that all of the vials um, in this bag segment uh, died to infighting. Oftentimes they'll live for a very long time um, and you need to kill them yourself, which is pretty scary. Because um, either, well, either you wait and do it right at the very end um, or you are getting at increasingly higher risk of having those vials target you because there's less stuff alive for them to be in fighting. So, um, yeah, I got a bit lucky this attempt. Uh, now, it's pretty much just clean up. Um, we're pretty safe. W once the cybers is on the back wall are dead, um, there's not a huge amount of risk of dying. I've, I've still got a ton of megas available to me, um, all in pretty useful and um, easy to access positions, so I'm not too worried now. I'm just uh, trying to clear up all the rest of these um, these cybers and, and PEs. We still do have that wall of vials um, kind of over to my right that I need to be a little bit worried about or careful of, um, but the pathing that I'm taking is usually fairly consistent in, in keeping them um, off you. That and most of them should be aggroed on uh, one of the cybers in the middle. Um, or even the side bruises. A little bit stuck on geometry there. I'm still not fully uh, confident in how this uh, how this room is built yet to be able to navigate it blind. But um, lucky I only had one red knot rocket following me. Most of the cybers are dead. I think we only got three or four left now. Um, so we're doing these PEs. Um, once this side of the map gets clear enough, I'll do a run in and clear out those vials just to remove any real danger. Um, but 
I want to just clear out some of these cybers first, just in case I get stuck um, clearing the vials out and I don't manage to do it on one pass. I'm not worried about uh, eating too many rockets in the, in the backside. Uh, now, I, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but um, these are uh, no sp2 uh, arch files, so they can resurrect each other, they can resurrect cyber demons, they can resurrect pain elementals. Um, so yeah, you really need to, to focus on clearing them all out in one big uh, in one big push. If you leave even one alive, you'll turn around and come back and, uh, and find that there's still you know another six or so that have been resurrected. Um, so just got to clean these uh, side bruises up whilst we're getting taunted by the map, but no need to worry, we're not nervous at all. Alright, so we're on to the finale now. Um, start 820x7 finale tribute. Um, I like to stand on the far right uh, teleporter destination. Hopefully I get an imp um, teleport into my left. Uh, you can either get an Imp or a Revenant, depending on how you go with RNG on the uh, teleport destinations. If it's a Revenant, you can't really afford to kind of just ignore what's to your left. You actually need to, to play a little bit more dynamically, but if you've got an Imp there, you can just kind of eat their fireballs and focus on the PEs. And, um, yeah, once you've cleared out the PEs, you can turn around and start mowing down these guys. Uh, when you start seeing a big group of, of lost souls teleport in, that's kind of the, the clue that the cybers are in, imminent. Um, I like to try and clear them out as quickly as I can, and then grab the involve. Um, you've got a fair bit of choice in terms of how much cells you use here. I like to um, keep at least 280 for the next um, phase of the fight. Uh, just makes it significantly safer. Um, so I'll try and kill, <coughs> say, Two to three cybers, depending on how um, lucky you get with being bounced back, and you know how um, efficient the BF3 traces are. The first first two ones were, were quite lucky. I, I didn't think they should have been two shots, but um, somehow I managed to get enough damage on them. And now, once the walls come down, you just BFG out. Try and clear these revenants that um, spawn from the side teleporters. There, they're the biggest danger because that's what will actually block you. So that's what you want to utilize your cells on. Case of circle strafing and being very careful not to uh, face rock yourself and get some lost balls that spawn in. And hopefully, the last cyber demon, if there's one alive, um, is long enough that you can uh, rocket him down, which thankfully it was here, and we're done. Alright everyone, uh, thanks very much for watching, hope you guys all, all enjoyed it. Um, I'd highly recommend checking the map out for yourself, um, links links down below in the description. Um, it does have lower difficulty implemented uh, if UV is a little bit too intimidating, um, and, it's, and it really is a ton of fun. Um, anyway, that's it for now, I'll uh, catch you all in the next one.